So to remove this uh, cockpit opening here, the combing and the lip, I'm just going to start by trimming off the base of it here with my uh, multi-tool. So here we go. Cockpit marked out now. I'm going to uh, cut it out. I like to use a very fine tooth blade, actually, more of what we would call a blade for a hacksaw. Uh, just so the fine tooth tends less to uh, be shredding epoxy and fiberglass delamination on the up pull. Always a bit nerve-wracking when you're cutting into a perfectly good boat, but uh, I think that went pretty well. Now we just clean it up and we can start building the vertical combing. Clean up this edge. I like to use just a little uh, Stanley Sureform here, or Surform. I don't know exactly how where it's pronounced which way, but it's really more by feel than anything else. Where by just running my hands along here, I can get this nice and smooth. The other thing I want to do is try and make this, uh, this cut as vertical as possible so when the combing gets glued in, the pieces are not leaning out or inwards. Next, I'm just going to take a piece of 80 grit sandpaper. I'm going to use the back of my sanding block and then just kind of run that along there. I have glued in all of the vertical cedar pieces, the combing, using CA glue, hence uh, the last uh, picture back might have shown my fingers kind of all covered in glue. Now I'm just going to coat both the inside and outside surface here with epoxy before I fiberglass. I tend to find that the uh, open grain of the cedar here really sucks up epoxy and it's really hard to uh, get the glass to remain clear without uh, losing epoxy to wood. Not to mention that normally I would build this when the deck is removed, but in this case I'm not able to do that. I'm going to need to get underneath this or inside here when the kayak is upside down and trim the bottom edge. I'm worried that uh, the CA glue not being that strong may just uh, fracture uh, and break the combings you know, layers off. 
So with a layer of epoxy on both sides here, we're kind of solidifying this structure before I have to do any more work on it. Probably can't see on the camera, but some of this wood is already looking a bit dry from the cedar absorbing the resin. So I'm just going to go back around and uh, add some more as necessary as it absorbs into the wood. That's all I'm going to be able to do on this today. Until this is uh, cured up by tomorrow, I will then uh, trim the bottom edge of this flush with the underside of the deck and start to fiberglass both sides. For the deck, I'm actually going to hit it with the orbital sander, mostly because there's varnish on there. I want to absolutely make sure the varnish is been removed down to the base coat of epoxy before I glue on any more or laminate on any more epoxy and fiberglass. I've cut two strips of four ounce glass uh, to make sort of a long piece of tape here. I've cut the glass on the bias, which means if the weave is uh, this way, I've cut diagonally across it. Makes it a lot easier to conform to the compound curve and getting it to tuck into the corners. Now I'm just going to dab on some epoxy here to just kind of stick it where I will make sure it's not going to fall off. And then I will brush on and smooth out all the way around here on this layer of glass. The small pieces of glass, it's really not a good idea to start brushing it on. You're just going to move that all over the place. So I'm just going to dab on. It takes a little bit longer, but uh, saves me having to figure out, you know, where all the glass is supposed to be after it's all moved and this, and it gets kind of distorted. So first objection here will be to tuck it into the corner. The other thing with brushing it on and dabbing like this is you do tend to introduce a bit more air into the mixture. So you really need to be careful that you're scraping off any excess after the you've applied and the glass is clear. Now I'm only going to do the outside of the combing at this point in time. I really want to strengthen this structure before I flip the boat over and cut off the underside of the combing that extends below the deck. And the combing at this point in time is much higher than it will be in the final trim after the combing lip goes on. So not too concerned with uh, you know getting right to the top of the combing with the glass. All right, I think that is uh, fully saturated. I'm just going to let that sit for a little bit and then try and scrape off or brush off or dab off the excess and make sure that the glass is tucked right down in the corner there. So that would be the likely spot that there might see tiny little air bubbles out in the sunlight after varnishing. I'm just using a very light stroke here to try and pick up excess without moving the glass. Any excess epoxy is going to generally run down the outside face of the combing and onto the deck, so I really don't need to worry about the uh, vertical areas as much as I do as on the horizontal. Following glassing the outside face of the combing and onto the deck, and it's a bit rough right now, we'll get sanded down and put a couple more coats on. I have scraped down the underside of the vertical pieces flush with the underside of the deck. I sanded, scuffed it all up, cleaned it all up so that now I can wrap some glass which is going to go down the inside face and onto the underside of the deck. Simplest way to get this glass to uh, stay in place is to add some epoxy to the inside surface here. Not so much that it's going to drip like that, 
I'll have to clean this up. And we take our strip. I'm going to start in the front as I did on the other side here. I can overlap just a bit, but I don't want to overlap too much because then we've got a, a large thick area of uh, glass that needs to be ground down. And there will be another layer on here when the combing lip goes on. So it's mighty strong enough. Of course, if this was a brand new boat and we were starting on it, the deck would not be attached. And I would be able to flip the deck over and see what I'm doing under here, which I still could do, which means I'm going to have to stick my head in there so I can, which I'll probably end up doing anyways once I get this kind of stuck on there. The other day I actually made the combing lip. I didn't film it. Um, it's just... Uh, thin strips of mahogany that I bent around, clamped to. I had some packing tape on the on the combing riser so it doesn't stick then. Because I need to take it off, I want to sand and scrape, or scrape and sand the bottom so it's smooth, and sand the inside edge here to get rid of any, you know, just fingerprints of epoxy. Now I'm going to put some thickened epoxy on and glue it on permanently. I've also made a mark on the back here of where center is because it's pretty easy to sort of go a little skew this way and that way and then it doesn't end up in the center at the bow. I'm using 105-205 West Epoxy, sort of a fast cure. I've thickened that up with some silica. Then I've just added some sawdust from my belt sander to make it uh, you know, similar in color as to what the mahogany will look like when saturated with more resin. I do have other videos on uh, doing combing lips. Then you can go to the other videos on kayak building. Got a whole full video series from start to finish. This boat is just a, rest well, not a restoration, it's a refit. I have not bothered to sand or shape the top edge or the outside edge of the combing lip. That'll all be done when it's on. And I sand it all down level to the and cut off the combing risers that are a little bit high right now. So we're gonna start from the back end here. I'm going to make sure that my center mark is right down the center strip, which it is. I have C-clamps and little uh, pads here to protect the inside edge. I wanna make sure that I'm pushing this down to my three-quarter block. And generally on this way I want my C-clamps facing inwards because I need to be able to get underneath there and clean the squeeze out. If you don't clean it out now, when it's hard, you'll never get under there and clean up that. For the bow, I couldn't, I, you can't get these laminations to wrap right around when making them. This little piece of yellow cedar would be a nice accent against the mahogany laminations. I'm just going to get some on the end on the inside. And I can just use a quick grip here or two. And we're going to pull this right into the combing, making sure that the bottom edges are flush. So next, I'm just going to get underneath there with a rag and maybe a little, uh, you know, like a little wedgy stick and get all the glue out. And that's left till tomorrow. Then we'll trim it all down, sand it all down, and glass it up. Once the top of the combing was trimmed down, everything was coated with epoxy, layer of four ounce glass went over top, down the inside and under the deck. Two coats of epoxy sanded smooth 
and uh, then fit it out with a nice custom seat. So that's going to conclude uh, this uh, refit of the Outer Island kayak with the out larger cockpit and a new seat and a bit of other trim that was made for it. Thank you very much. See you next time.